Hello, welcome back to AJM Learn CSS Hacks. Today, um, I want to help you fix this just absolutely crazy quick view light box, uh, product quick view light box. I have no clue why Squarespace thinks this looks good. It drives me crazy. I've avoided using them for a long time. Um, so finally had a client who really wanted this and really wanted it done right. So I learned how to fix a lot of it. Um, still kind of a work in progress because there's a lot messed up here. So in this one, I'm going to just copy. There's a ton of code and it's all labeled. Um, so I'm going to copy it all over and I'm going to walk you through what it all does. So you'll see a lot of changes apply once I fix whatever I've done wrong. Oh, this. Make sure I put a little tip in here. Actually, I'll move it to the bottom, but you don't want that in there. It'll mess it up. Anyway, okay, so first change the overlay behind the light box. So that's this overlay back here. Um, normally it's that like solid opaque white and it makes you feel like you've totally like left the website. It's just so confusing. So I like to do an overlay. You can change the color here. You can change the opacity here. Next is the actual light box color. Um, I've done this turquoise. Obviously I would not like actually style it looking like this, but I just threw in some of my brand colors. Um, change that color here. You can add a border. Um, you can change the thickness of the border. You can change the color. I'm not a huge border fan, but I put it in here just for fun. Um, the X close color. So that's this up here. If you're going to, you know, change your background, you just need to make sure this is still visible. Add a drop shadow. You cannot see the drop shadow because I'm using like a darker background overlay, um, but you can play around with the darkness of your drop shadow here. You can even change the color um, to be something more branded and not like a dark, like a black or gray. You can change all of the, you know, drop, drop shadow settings here. Button color here, pretty simple. Um, okay, so title color is this. Price color here and excerpt color here. So all of those, I just have them as white because it makes sense with what I'm doing here. You can change as you need. And then lastly, this viewful item color. I do have it set to white. There's clearly some sort of like transparency going on here. Um, I have not played around with trying to apply like a opaque opacity, but you could totally try that out. I actually have not tried it, but better than it being black in this case. Um, okay, one thing that actually I think bugs me the most is this alignment. It makes no sense. Um, I'm wondering if it's maybe better for photos that are cropped more square or vertical. I don't know. So in this case, I've just decided I love to use like margins to force things to be where I want them to be. Sometimes it's honestly not the best practice. You want to make sure it doesn't mess anything up on like mobile. So in this case, I've only applied it to um, anything larger than mobile. You can actually like change this to be higher, something around, I think like 1200, maybe you can play around with it. So it won't apply to uh, tablet either if you're concerned about tablet. Um, but I made this not apply to mobile because I don't really want it knocked down on mobile. Um, so yeah, this helps in this case. It pretty much centers it. You can always play around and, you know, make it a little more perfect. Um, like anything, this is of course like Squarespace has responsive design, so it'll be a little different in different screen sizes. But Better than it was, I'm still searching for like a really good fix for aligning everything here. But for now, this is where I've landed. Um, full transparencies. I have no clue why this looks so crazy. I'm going to take all the code out. Um, and you can see that it still looks insane on mobile. If I could hold my shift button. Um, it just looks crazy on mobile. Um, I, that's kind of my next step. Like, let's figure out how to make this look not like that on mobile. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed that. Makes it so much better and more appealing, more usable. Um, yeah, hope you enjoy.